welcome to LTD Auto. Today we're going to be looking at one of the best out cars, at least in my opinion, that came out of the 70s. And it's the 1977 Ford LTD Landau. The Ford LTD first came out in 1965 and ended in 1986. But by 1986, the LTD wasn't like this. It was small and not that good looking. But this is a Landau, which makes it special. The Landau first came out in 1975, and it looked basically just like this. And it ended in 1978, when Ford shrunk their line of cars in 1979. Alright, so walking around the LTD here, you guys can see the front end. Now the way to tell from an LTD Landau from just a regular LTD is these hideaway headlights right here, which have these weird... I don't know if it's like a cat or something, not sure. So yeah, the hideaway headlights and then these really thick body side moldings that go the length of the car. And then of course, the LTD Lando badge right there. Yeah, these LTDs were really big cars. They were 226 inches long and rode atop of a 121 inch wheelbase. Yeah, just a really good looking car, in my opinion. Go around the back here. Now, this egg crate grill was a one year only. They only had this in 77. In 75 and 6, it was like a plastic and it said LTD. And then 77 they had this, and then 78 they went back to that LTD wording right there. Has the nice white vinyl top, which is in really, really good condition. There's those cat, that cat again. It's also on the hubcaps. And this car only has one mirror. You could get them on both sides, but this one was only ordered with one. So let's move to the inside, where you're greeted with this nice brown vinyl seating. It looks really nice in here. I really like it. it has the dual armrests come down. And you have this classic Ford steering wheel. I think this steering wheel came out in 1975. Before that, it was just like a plain, I don't know, just a different looking steering wheel. You have power seats down here. Really nice. This is an AC car. You can see right there. This is actually an AM only radio which is kind of odd for being the top of the line LTD model. You have an analog clock, which doesn't work. And I love the way these gear shifters look, like the chrome, looks really nice. And you move to the door panel, which is nicely padded. All this is soft touch in here. It has a nice LTD emblem right there. This is soft, this is all plastic. And you have power door locks power windows, mirror, manual mirror. Yeah, overall, just a nice interior. All right, we'll show you guys the power windows. Buzzer. Moving from the front seat, we're gonna go to the back. Again, you have this nice door panel. Doesn't have the LTD emblem. Kind of cost cutting right there, but all soft touch right here, soft. Have power window. Ashtray right here. And get open. And again, you have this nice brown leather interior, which is very comfortable. Like most cars of this era, comfortable seating. Very deep well floors, so that's cool. Yeah, pretty simple back here, but it's a nice place to be if you're going on long travels. All 
onto the passenger. Side door. This is only a manual seat right here. You can pull this up. The seat moves. Yeah, these seats in here are really soft and comfortable. Let's open this massive glove box. Have the original owner's manual in here, which is in really good condition actually. Take it out. Shows you all your maintenance and how to use the stuff for your car. Put that back. Now let's move under hood. Here we are greeted with the 400 cubic inch two barrel V8. You can see the air cleaner is an original, which I wish it was original. Then it has a new Edelbrock two barrel carburetor on it. Well, yeah, it looks really nice in here. Nice. I guess I wouldn't call it clean, but fairly clean engine bay. I replaced the voltage regulator in here. Because that was all rusty. See your AC. It still has the R12 refrigerant in here. Motocraft. Yeah, nice. This engine made about 168 horsepower. Which is nothing. Got to replace this. It's a little rusty. Power brakes, power steering. And there was four engine choices you could get. You could get a 302, 351, 400, and a 460. I wish this had the 460, but 400 is good too. All right, let's start it up and show you guys what it sounds like. Just a single exhaust, but sounds pretty good. All right, now let's move to the trunk. The massive Ford trunk. There it is. This car did come with fender skirts, but I have taken them off. This one was really nice. This one though, there's surface rust and the bottom was just rusting away and it didn't really look that good, so I just took them off. So yeah, this trunk is really, really big. This does come with two extra hubcaps, which is nice. They're kind of dinged, but it's fine. And it came with bumper guards for the back bumper, but this isn't the original bumper. It actually got replaced, so those will not fit on here. But I think it looks good without the bumper guards in the rear. So yeah. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching this review, and we'll see you guys in the next video.